Hello everyone and welcome to Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. Today we'll be learning how to fly the choppers in the game. So, as you can see here, there's three types of choppers in the game currently. So there is the Recon Loach there with the minigun, then there is the Cobra and then the Huey. So, also with that, there's two types of cars you can be. You can be a combat which is the Cobra and the Loach, and Transport, which is the Huey. So I'll pick Transport at the moment. With this, you're equipped an M9-11. Uh, <laughs> good gun, good side hand, uh, side arm for the American Army. So you can jump in, as you can see. So here, left there is the RPM dial, and in the middle there is the Collective Altitude and Airspeed dial. So, what are they for? So the RPM, if your RPM needs to be in the green bar there to take off, and your RPM has to be pretty far, because if you go and turn too hard, you'll drop your RPM and fall out of the sky. So, what was I meaning about the collective? So the collective gives you lift. So, you, when you're doing this, you just press space bar on my key settings, and you can lift off the ground. As you can see, you can slowly, you can fast, you can do either. And then with left con uh, left control, you can spear, uh, go down again. So see that pilot with pilot with the thing, uh, pilot there with the thumbs up. <laughs> I just broke my chopper. Okay, so I'll get back in it and try again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stuffing around. So, as you can see, it's real easy. This is a very hardcore game. In real life, I would have died there. No way I would have survived that. Even falling from there, I don't know if it hard would have survived. So you just get in here now. You can start up with F. So, see the pilot with the thumbs up? That means that if you're carrying people, they can get out. So that will come up when you land, when you take off, either one. And in this, as you can see, there is six seats in this. So there is four uh, seats for people to just sit in it, in there, and then there is gunners. So let's take off again, and I'll show you a bit more. So you want to stay pretty close to the ground, because the enemy Viet Cong commander you know, I'm calling uh, Sam Torrance to go and kill you. So you want to stay pretty goddamn close to the ground when you're a helicopter pilot. But this is the most dangerous because you can get hit by RPGs. There can be anything. Like small arms fire can kill you at this low altitude. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh! Oh, I was lucky there. Holy moly, I was lucky there. So, you've got a few things to do. You can turn left, you can turn right with the mouse. I'm only using mouse at the moment and collective. That's all I'm using. But, if I pull up here, if I slow up and just ease her in a bit. Okay, then you can press, I'll get a bit of altitude over this building, these buildings here. And then G. So you can press G. So this is auto hover. So now I can do this will just hover here. This is the most dangerous. It's easy, but it's the most dangerous. Okay, see I'm turning here, but I'm not using my mouse whatsoever. I'm using Q and E. And this is using the tower rotor. So this is really good for turning really quickly on something like this. In small areas like this. The Huey is very good because it's maneuverable, it's got door gunners, so they're extremely effective. effective. But this map is very hard. I've tried a few times to land in here, but see these rice paddies here? They're very hard to try and land on, just because of the weird shape and how small they are. Okay, okay. So I landed there, but I don't think that's a good enough landing. 
Okay, so there comes the pilot, so now I can get out. So here, I could go and get in a door gunner, as you can see. I can fire out, and then I can zoom in. So now, let's have a look. So you can fit four guys in it, and it's pretty good. So now I'll take that off, and I'll go and show you what happens when you turn too hard. Because at first you just try, I tried to swing it around, and when I first tried to get in a uh, get in an aircraft, and it never ever works. It just doesn't. You can't swing it around like you would in any other game. This has got realistic fright physics. And I crashed again. What a surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll show you from over here. Let's get out of this and let's have a go at the combat. So, as you can see, I'm a pretty terrible pilot. But, we'll show you how what happens when you're doing it in Cobra. Cobra's e easier than the Loach. Loach just stays in the air anyway. So, they've pretty much all got the same rotors like speed up times so you can be taking small arms fire from this like they're not invincible these choppers they will go down by small arms fire I've seen someone take a PK, uh, PKM from the Viet Cong side and kill them it's pretty amazing actually how easy they are to take out so I took off very very slowly there as you can see and I'm only just making it on okay. So let's get a bit of altitude so then I don't crash instantly here. And now let's go. So Cobra's pretty easy to stall. So I'm going forward and then... Okay, as you can see, look at my altitude that just dropped then. I'm losing so much altitude. I nearly crashed. If I was any lower, I would have crashed. So with left alt, you can look around in free look and look at this see you've got all your all your animations are done perfectly this game does it so well okay let's try and land again but with this guy this time okay so see this thing has some destructive power and with the tower rider you can just slowly feather that tower rider to get it ten, to get it much better. So let's see, I'm just, I can strafe this village. I can strafe it. I'm strafing it there. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> don't know how that worked. Another thing you can't explain. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, as you can see, the Cobra is not for me. I'm just not. I'm a pretty goddamn terrible Cobra pilot. And I'd be dead there. Well, she'd be getting some scratches on her. As you can see, there, I'm dead. So, look how easy it is. So, I think that'll do us for this time. Thank you for watching really helped my channel. I'm pretty small at the moment, but I really hope you come back for some more Rising Storm 2 Vietnam content. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.